Cheryl, yeah, it has been a very difficult month and the number of officers killed in this incident going up to four in just the past few hours tonight. Uh, police in Charlotte coming under fire today by a suspect. He had a high powered rifle. He was barricaded inside of a home and that standoff lasting nearly four hours. A somber procession tonight, hours after multiple police officers were shot in Charlotte, North Carolina. This after police say that a person that they were trying to arrest opened fire. Shots fired at officer, possibly one down. Correction, two down, subjects barricaded themselves. Helicopters on surveillance, schools put on lockdown. We were at the track and we could hear a lot of gunshots. A massive law enforcement response in this area. Neighbors describing the mayhem as police took over their home. They used one of our bedrooms to uh, set up a U.S. Marshal sniper in just to get a, a point. A total of eight officers were shot during this tense ordeal. Three members of the U.S. Marshal's fugitive task force were killed. And late tonight, police announcing a fourth death of Charlotte Mecklenburg police officer Joshua Iyer. We'll always be indebted to Officer Iyer for his bravery and his sacrifice for this profession. Now, police say that the suspect was killed in the standoff after officers returned fire. That suspect was wanted for possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. And police are questioning two other people who lived in that home as persons of interest. Another underlining of how difficult it is to be a law enforcement officer, Rob. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.